Okay, let's go ahead and propose a question and maybe we can answer it with respect to statistics. So, here we go. What is the purpose of a question? Okay, so let's think about that for a second. What exactly is, why do we take the time uh, to ask a question? Think about that for a couple of seconds. So I think most basic is to reveal something previously unknown. think that that is basically the basis of a lot of this statistics class is we're going to be asking questions and the purpose while we're asking this is to reveal something that we don't know and so we are going to try to go and collect data we are going to try to analyze this stuff so we can answer our questions that we have so that we can reveal something that is previously unknown now when we do this do these questions remember on that list the next thing down was that we needed to design an experiment and the purpose of designing an experiment is ultimately to answer our question or to you know basically reveal something previously unknown. So when we set up our experiments there are basically two major types of experiments. So let's look at experiment types. Okay so experiment type number one is observational. Okay, and observational experiments are experiments in which uh, we just observe um, maybe people's habits or um, maybe we're just observing uh, what animals are doing in the wild and we are literally just watching them and recording what is going on. So a lot of times like surveys, surveys are observational experiments where we are just asking people and we're just recording data about what has happened. So observational is we are just recording, recording um, what we observe. And I'm just going to put in here no intervention. So all we're doing in observational studies are just watching. That's it. So that's number one. And number two that we can do are called experimental. Okay, so experimental experiments are different in the fact that we generally are providing one group a treatment and we're going to compare them to a group that doesn't have a, have a treatment. We want to split them up into groups and we are going to try to uh, intervene or show like this group had treatment A, this group had treatment B and we're looking at the difference between them. We are actually experimenting upon them. So for experimental, we can say that um, treatment, treatment given, and then we can say results observed. So the big difference between the two is, are we going to intervene or are we going to give a treatment? Now, sometimes experiments lend ourselves well to be experimental, others because of like ethical reasons, uh, we can only do observational. So let me give you an example for observational of why we couldn't do one for experimental. Um, so let's suppose that we wanted to determine uh, the effects of smoking on a fetus. Okay, so 
Uh, if we wanted to run an experiment, we would have to then like randomly select a, you know, a bunch of pregnant women, um, put them into two groups, and then we say group A is not going to smoke over the course of their, present, uh, their pregnancy, and group two is going to be you know, forced to smoke over the course of their pregnancy. Uh, as you can see, that raises a bunch of ethical concerns. Uh, you know, we have good reason to believe that smoking is probably bad for a fetus, and that is, you know, that goes against kind of like the ethics of, of statistics. So we're left with just observational studies where we could say, you know, are you pregnant? Did you smoke while you were pregnant? And then we can observe what happened to, to the fetus. The, the drawback of observational is it's really hard to determine cause and effect because we don't know if we, uh, from which direction are we observing it. Uh, there's a lot more unknowns. Uh, we don't know if it's something else that's maybe causing some birth defect among the fetus. But with experimental design, uh, it's really good at helping us determine cause and effect because we can try to um, make sure that we've eliminated as many of the uh, confounding variables as possible. We've also tried to mix our groups so that if there are any extra confounding variables that are found in both groups, uh, and then if we were to, to give this treatment to both, we, or to one group and not the other, we could then say the only thing difference between these two groups is this treatment, and we can try to establish cause and effect like that. And that, that's what we do um, in the pharmaceutical industry, trying to determine whether or not uh, a new drug is actually effective. So. Kind of in recap, purpose of a question is to reveal something previously unknown, and when we design our experiments, there are basically two major paths that we can go about trying to answer this question with either an observational study or an experimental study.